So that is Gilbert. And for those who have watched us for a long time, you remember there is a woman who prophesied to us. And she, she was, people were saying that she's, um, you know, a, a lunatic. You know, she, she has a mental problem. And when we came there, she, she looked at me and she said, um, you didn't have the car? You didn't have a car at that time. And she said, you are going, I can see you buying two cars. And she said, if you have anything to give me, give me now because you will not see me again. When you come out, I've passed on. I'm about to go home. Well, it's on, on a video. I'll find that video somewhere. It's on YouTube, my channel, maybe YouTube, because YouTube messed up a lot of my videos. Uh, and if YouTube did not mess it up, then it's there. And what she said was very true. We later got blessed. We got two cars. And then uh, when we came back to bless her, because I promised that I, I would be back with substance to just bless her. When we arrived with whatever we had brought, you know, we found her buried. Just She had been buried like two days earlier you know so I was like oh my she was so spot on that's why sometimes I don't go with what people label others when I see people labeling somebody I have to prove myself beyond reasonable doubt before I can form my own opinion we have met people who are labeled very bad names thieves, killers, you know, all that. Um, mad, lunatic, crazy. They label people. And trouble with labeling is that it really gets into the heart. And people call the dog a bad name. Just give a dog bad name and you know you'll see what happens so that woman had been called crazy and I think it got into her heart so she prophesied the truth and now that she was dead you know we tried to talk to a few people around her home and they said well yeah she was a, a little bit out there but she prophesied the truth. We met two people who confirmed that she had spoken a few things and they were spot on. So that is the grandmother to Gilbert. And when I saw Gilbert, like my heart was glued. I thought I found my son. He has a dark complexion just like me. And I tried to get the father and he's not there so he doesn't have a daddy and he likes me <clears throat> whenever he sees us he will always hang around us and he will keep on staring at me he was just doing that and I thought what is, what is going on in this boy's mind probably he sees a father in me and so, I'll help him, I really do. I think last time we seen him, we gave him money for his school fees, right? Yeah, we gave him money for school fees last yeah. time. So he wasn't going to school, now he is going to school. So, he's my kid. My boy. <laughs> and we have Jiga Dakim before. Oh man, that's me. 
old man? The old man where? Here. He's somewhere around here. His name is Gilbert. Wait. Oh, Nitro Gilbert Nani. Eh? A bang on your cool. Nitro Gilbert Nani. Gilbert and Duruchi. The bus say my evil. Say my evil. On a summer, Kiangalia Chini, but like Wangalia Daddy. No, he's okay. He's just okay. yeah. He's just apprehensive. He's excited yeah. to see daddy.
Gilbert,